Once a civil engineering marvel, London's sewer system operates on a combined system where rainwater and sewage share pipes. During heavy rainfall, the system overflows into flat-valved pipes along the River Thames. On average, 39 to 40 million cubic metres of sewage is discharged into the Thames annually, a staggering volume likened to filling Wembley Stadium 39 to 40 times. This influx poses health hazards, ecological threats and litter issues. The Thames Tideway Tunnel aims to be part of the solution. How is this tunnel going to keep the Thames clean for the next century? The story starts in the long hot summer of 1858. Two million people lived in London and the sewage they created was dumped straight into the Thames. In the heat of 1858 summer, it became known as the Great Stink. Something had to change. The Victorians, over the course of the next 15 years, built a pioneering system designed to cope with the sewage of four million people. Today, there are around nine million people in London and the Victorian system cannot cope. Every time it rains, combined sewer overflows, CSOs, deposit a combination of rainfall and sewage into the Thames. On completion, 34 of these CSOs will drain into London's super sewer, the Thames Tideway Tunnel. Tideway is a system of CSOs feeding the main tunnel. The main sewer tunnel is 25 kilometers long, running from Acton in the west of London to Abbey Mills in the east. It is 7.2 meters in diameter and is at a depth of 30 meters in the west and 70 meters in the east. The tunnel is lined with precast concrete segments. It was made with four tunnel boring machines, TBMs, two more for boring the connecting tunnels. All six were named after notable women in engineering, technology and science. A shaft 50 meters deep and 30 meters wide was dug at the Kirtling Street site in Wandsworth to lower TBM Millicent, which tunneled five kilometers toward Fulham and TBM Ursula, which tunneled to Bermondsey. The latest milestone in the project was the capping of the Kirtling Street shaft in October 2023. The shaft will now be left as a void, providing extra sewage storage capacity. The entire boring operation was completed in 2022. Despite delays due to COVID, Tideway will begin protecting the river for the first time when the system is activated for testing in 2024 and become fully operational in 2025. A $4.5 billion project to provide a cleaner and healthier environment for London.